Hello and welcome back to another follow up showcase. I'm back in the Commonwealth. Now, it's been a short while. Uh, more or less a month. Anyway, all of you probably play the Far Harbor DLC right now, and it's wonderful. Aside from the frame rate for consoles. <laughs> but with it came a lot of new weapons. And I'll do my best to cover these as fast as possible. So to play the game, and so that's the things on my schedule on my plate, so I'll get them out as fast as I can. But anyway, first up, the Radium Rifle. Now, I'm not going to even try to think how this shoots radiation at opponents while shooting bullets. Maybe depleted uranium rounds? Maybe? It's unlikely? But yeah, so he uses .45 ammo, which is plentiful. Nothing unique about that. Otherwise, it's alright weapon. The accuracy is okay. But yeah, anyway, on first impressions, the new shooting range. Well, it's the same on like starting off, and it's okay. Nothing spectacular. It's a meh impression so far. The accuracy is uh, pretty good from the hip. I don't say it's perfect. Kind of what I expect going to win all these weapons so far. Once the wow factor is eh, 3 out of 5. It's okay. Before I go to the upgrade table, keep in mind that my perks are fully maxed out for Rifleman and Commando. It will be turning this gun automatic. Because single single shots, uh, we got better ones than the Radium Rifle. So, first up, let's do the barrel. Now you got the standard barrel, or a long barrel. This ain't any longer, you just slap some wire... What? What? Is this focusing the radiation damage? How does things shoot radiation? I, I don't know. Whatever, it's a long barrel, adds more range. And a very little weight, so I guess I'll slap it on. Jeez, I don't understand some of these things. Oh, you stock. Well, I'll be going full auto with these things, so we'll take the recoil compensating stock. It's probably the best of every pretty much selection I could make there. We'll go with a large quick eject mag. Yeah, so we'll be going full automatic, and I'll be rolling a lot. Sights? Uh, I don't like using scopes. I never did in Fallout. So for my preference, as usual, I'll stick with a reflex sight. Now, muzzle. I could take a suppressor, but I'll take a muzzle break instead. Help control that recoil a bit. So that way I don't have to fight the gun so much. Alright. Last up, let's go to receiver. Now... To be honest, all you can do is just switch between automatic or semi-automatic. So, of course, I'll take the automatic version. <laughs> That's fair, I figure it's the best. Good, nice, good fire rate in there. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, what? Whoa, I'm not even hitting the target. The hell? Whoa, I had some bad hip fire accuracy. Down the scope, it's alright. So it's just fine. Man. Maybe it's just the range of the target. Let's try going a little bit farther away. Oh, man. Only 20% of my shots are hitting. That is bad, bad hip fire accuracy. I'll go slap the other barrel back on. Okay, with the short barrel on now. It's actually better. Who, this is weird. You got the short better. Well, of course, it's better hip fire accuracy, but man, does long one negatively impact that weapon that much? Let's try it at a bit longer range. Sure enough, more of my shots hit. For sake of this weapon, I implore you to take a short barrel. The long barrels not really worth it unless you plan to use it as a sniper. So, in terms of stat wise, it didn't get a huge improvement over the automatic version. The, well, radiation does the same damage regardless. This is your more physical ballistic damage that gets improved. So how's it work in field? To be honest, this thing has a lot of recoil. Even with my stock and my muzzle break, I've seen kicks a lot. It's difficult to keep on targets at medium range. I'll never use this weapon at long range. Never. This weapon's not accurate enough. It's best used at close range from the hip. 
You could use it. The first few bullets out of the sight is fine, but when you get to, like, fifth, seventh shot, it just sprays. Sprays bad. Look at SMG-wise. But damage works wonderful against raiders. That radiation damage just tears them up. But you've got to get close to them. Almost shotgun range, to be honest. That's how I'm using this weapon, because otherwise I miss half my shots out of a magazine. But it's still powerful, though. Moving on from that, I tried on some raiders, and luckily I got a whole bunch of butchers here. Now, normally they're resistant against radiation, but this weapon tore right through them pretty easily. Not to say it's perfect. Again, you got to get relatively close to them, but still, damage is definitely there. And luckily, all these butchers were mostly carrying sledgehammers for some reason. Not sure why, but for the most part, they went down without too much of a fight. Very easy kill. Moving on from that, I want us to get some robots, a new category, since the Automatron DLC added a whole bunch. And it does pretty damn decent. Wouldn't say amazing, radiation damage doesn't really apply to very well to robots at all. But it still did good enough damage. Good enough damage to use in combat, without worrying about it too much, but still the accuracy in this weapon bugs me. So, my usual suicide run, let's try to get someone with power armor. Always a bad idea. Will not survive very long. Let's see how much I can get out of mag my magazine. Not too much. The radiation damage, the power suits protect people from that, so it didn't work very well in the Brotherhood. Next up, Marlar Queen. Now, normally I was expecting this to do very poorly, but surprisingly, when she got close, this weapon did amazing, actually. When you get close, you just tear away at the Queen quickly with this gun. One magazine, I almost killed it. Almost. Even after the Queen, the Plain Marlarks are just as vulnerable. You tear right through them, head shell and all. Very good against Marlarks, surprisingly. Most weapons aren't. After that, I want to get some synths. And it's the same story. Synths are usually resistant against most forms of weapons, but not the radium rifle. It destroys them, utterly. They're like weak against it, specifically. Which is strange. But nonetheless, if you can hit their small little frame, it does perfect. Excellent. Now, I knew this would happen, but against ghouls, it's probably one of the worst weapons you could take to them. Not only are they resist heavily resistant against radiation, they're very nimble, and for a weapon that's rather inaccurate, this makes a rather difficult fight. <laughs> There's a lot of better weapons you could have grabbed for this fight. Now, I'm aware that I'm using the automatic version, so the semi-automatic would perform behave differently, but in terms of semi-automatic, there's more powerful weapons. So I'm pretty much reviewing the automatic side of this. Then finally, a Deathclaw, and I managed to find the strongest one too, Chameleon. Now it was do mediocre damage at long range, as I expected, but when he got close, it did okay damage. I'm not going to say perfect, I'm not going to say excellent, I'm not going to say bad or horrible, it did okay. Not the best weapon, not the worst weapon either, and not to mention I got some company along with the ride. Now, as a follow-up against Rad Scorpions, it does alright. Not not superb, but against a large group, I will not use this weapon. I'd much rather use an explosive shotgun, or even a plain shotgun for that matter. It does the job a lot quicker and a lot neater. Without having to load 20 times. Alright, on to some pro on the pro side, you go up and it's relatively easy to get. You can get off most enemies in Far Harbor, and probably will start appearing in stores and on the plain game. Also, the ammunition is fairly cheap. The .45 round is everywhere off all the raiders. It is unusually effective against Mylarks and Synths, specifically those two. Well, I don't count raiders, because raiders don't have any resistance against anything. And that's pretty much it of the pros. On the con side, this gun kicks a lot. It has a lot of recoil. The accuracy is not that great. In the automatic version, anyway. And to be honest, this weapon's a bit on the heavy side. At nearly 20 points for an automatic gun. And also, the long barrel doesn't seem to be very good at all unless you're using it as a sniper. And if you are using it as a sniper, grab something else. <laughs> The radiation damage doesn't do that much of a boost to damage on enemies. 
But overall, that's pros and cons of the weapon. So, new radium rifle and a new DLC on a new frontier. Is it an awesome weapon? No. Is it a bad weapon? No. It's an okay weapon. It's okay. The accuracy's not great. The damage is there, at least. And it does radiation damage, so I guess it works against certain ones, and Marlocks and Sins don't stand a chance. So if you're going to go attack the uh, Institute there, you might want to grab a radium rifle. It might do you some good. But no matter. I thank you for watching this showcase, and I'll see you next time. Take care out there.